Out of our summer of racial reckoning comes a fall of fair finances. A local nonprofits looking to break down the barriers that keep people of color from accessing capital. News 5 anchor Mike Brookbank gives us a look at how it's trying to foster economic equity in Northeast Ohio, and it's all new at 6. When Angela Sharpley set out to secure the funding she needed to expand her business, I was told that there was no help for me out here. That's what she heard from a lender right out of the gate. They never got to my credit, so that was the only thing they had to go off of was who I was. When intentionally placed roadblocks prevent people of color like Angela from accessing the cash they need, HFLA of Northeast Ohio steps in to help bridge that divide. Our mission is to help people that don't have access to fair financial tools. For more than a century, the nonprofit has been providing interest-free loans to those who might otherwise go without, just because of who they are. How race and racism play out with regards to access to capital and investment absolutely needs to be at the forefront. Along with intentional decisions based on appearance. Not credit worthy, not uh, uh, dependable. Mark Joseph, professor of community development at Case Western tells me there is implicit bias at play. We have something in our perception or our mindset that would lead us to believe that someone who is African-American or a person of color is less credit worthy. Along with racism, not knowing where to find resources often keeps access to funding out of reach. Understanding uh, where you can go for loans, for investment, for capital. You don't have a, a road map to know where to go. When people do finally get that direction, Angela Sharpley hopes they have an equal chance to get the cash they need to invest in their community. I would like for the playing field to be made fair. Reporting in Cleveland, Mike Brookbank, News 5.